Norse mythology talks about two tribes of gods. They are the Aesir tribe and the Varni tribe. With time, these gods wage war against each other and Aesir gods won the war. As part of their truce agreement, Njord, Freya, and Freya were taken to Aesir since they are the most powerful Varni gods. The Varni gods on general are known to be gifted with the shape-shifting powers and with immense knowledge that even Aesir gods are unaware of. Being one of the most powerful Varni gods, Freya was gifted with many powers and knowledge even Odin didn't know of. Freya is one of the most beautiful goddesses found in Norse mythology. Her beauty itself caused many problems to the Aesir gods. One such story is, just when the war between the two god tribes was over, and Midgard and Valhalla was created, Aesir gods wanted to build a wall around Asgard to protect it from enemies. An unnamed builder offered to build the wall on seeing the beautiful goddess Freya. He wanted the goddess's hand in marriage in return for the completion of the wall. After some debate, the gods agree to this, but place a number of restrictions on the builder. Of the many restrictions, the most prominent one was that he must complete the work within one season with the help of no man. The builder in return made a request to have help from his stallion Svayari, and due to Loki's influence, this was allowed. To the surprise of the gods, Svayari was no ordinary stallion. He was twice faster than the builder himself and possessed immense strength. So the builder made excellent progress in the build. Because it was Loki who convinced the gods to let the builder have the assistance of the stallion, the gods sentenced Loki to death. So Loki disguised himself as a mare and ran past Svayari. The stallion was immediately taken away by the mare, and he started to follow after her. The stallion chased after the mare, and the builder chased after the stallion. The two horses ran all night, halting the build for a one long night. Without the help of the stallion, the builder was unable to complete the wall before the due time. Later, the gods realized the builder was actually a Jotnar, that is a giant, and has disguised himself as a builder. So the giant met his end at the hand of Thor because he deceived the gods. Freya's name has the meaning lady or mistress. After she was taken from her homeland, Odin is the first god to befriend Freya. He realized the immense power and knowledge the goddess possessed. Odin even got to know about the existence of runes from Freya. Runes are considered to be powerful letters that exist in Norse mythology. They are said to possess the power to manipulate elements and could be used to perform divine magic. Freya was a master of runes and this made Odin desire to learn about the letters. Freya didn't teach him the letters, but told him that he first have to prove his worth in order for the letters to appear. So to prove worthy, Odin had to hang himself from Yggdrasil for nine days and nine nights while starving. It could be seen that Odin had to go through a considerably difficult task just to prove his worth to learn the runes, which Freya acquired so easily. Even Odin acknowledged the goddess to be powerful and knowledgeable and treated her accordingly. In Asgard, there is a specific realm dedicated to Freya herself. This realm is called Folkvanger. Within Folkvanger lies her palace Sesramnir. Freya is not just known for her beauty. She also possesses great skills in warfare. So she is also rule over war and dead, not only beauty and love. Even when the two god tribes fight, Freya was said to be one of the leading figures in it. She is prophesied to fight at Ragnarok, alongside Odin and other Aesir gods. 
Freya even has been prophesized to survive it, while Odin falls. So it could be said without a doubt that Freya is a skillful warrior. For the coming war, Freya and Odin splits the dead brave ones, especially the soldiers between them. When placing the dead, Odin even allows Freya to make the first pick, and he takes the second. This itself shows the respect Odin has towards the beautiful goddess. The ones Odin pick gets to live in Valhalla, while the ones Freya picks get to live in Sesramnir. Since she is the goddess of love, she has a fondness for love songs. So it is said that in her palace, one can always listen to love songs. Legends has it that Freya rides a chariot driven by two huge cats. These cats are said to accompany her even at war. So Freya is often depicted with two cats. Another important possession of Freya is the necklace Brisingamen. There is even an incident where Thor dressed as Freya to trick the King of Giants Primer. For this he just used the necklace to fool Primer, suggesting that it was a defining characteristic of the goddess. When she visited the land of the dwarfs, she saw them crafting the finest necklace she has ever seen. She offered them gold and silver, but the dwarfs rejected them and asked for a night with the goddess. So she accepted it and spent a night with each of the dwarfs who were crafting the necklace. So the dwarfs offered her the necklace and named it Brisingamen. In some deviations of the story, every craft that was done by the dwarfs is said to possess a certain power. That is because they added divine ingredients to the craft. Brisingamen is said to contain the power to make Freya's beauty irresistible. Scholars justify this by saying that Thor could disguise himself as the beautiful goddess because of the necklace. He managed to convince that he was Freya because of it. So it is said, by spending a night with the dwarfs, the goddess mixed her power with the craft and the dwarfs enhanced it into the necklace. Legends has it that Freya was married to Ar but nothing other than he left Freya alone to journey long distances is known. But with him, Freya had two daughters, Nos and Jasimi. She is said to weep for her husband and searches for him by disguising herself. When Freya's tears met the land they are said to turn into gold, and when they met with water, the tears are turned to amber. So the goddess takes a huge part in the creation of the most beautiful things known to man. Freya was the goddess who taught humans how to perform magic using the knowledge of runes. Freya was also explicitly linked with cedar magic, which is a magic that involves discerning the course of fate and working within its structure to bring about change by weaving in new events. Some scholars point out that Freya is none other than goddess Freak, the wife of Odin, considering the similarities between the two goddesses. The two goddesses share similar powers and interests. Freya's husband also takes similarities to Odin. They both are said to journey in many quests, leaving their wives weeping. She was desired by many, from dwarfs to the ruthless giants. Freya is one of the female deities that held a great deal of power. She not only ruled over love and passion, but also on war, fertility, death and even magic. The fact that the goddess has the ability to survive Ragnarok significantly illustrates the power of the goddess. What do you think of this story? Comment down below your thoughts. My Patreon and subscribers thank you so much for your support. Please consider to like, comment, share this video, since it'll help me greatly to grow. I'll see you again in another story to tell.